The Chief Secretary Fali Augustin told TV6 News on Monday of his intention to write to the Prime Minister, the Leader of the Opposition and all parliamentarians, stating that he plans to initiate discussions on Tobago's autonomy. To facilitate these discussions, he has indicated his intention to appoint a technical team for this purpose. However, the minority leader said this unilateral decision to create a technical team is deeply concerning, as it was made without the approval of the Tobago House of Assembly. Minority leader Kelvin Morris said the Assembly recently passed a motion explicitly calling for a bipartisan meeting between members of the THA and the members of the Parliament to address Tobago's autonomy position. He said the Chief Secretary's approach disregards this bipartisan directive and opts instead for a technical team arrangement that the Assembly never authorized. Therefore, the minority leader says he's calling on the Chief Secretary to respect the authority of the Tobago House of Assembly and honor the institution's democratic processes. He adds that the Chief Secretary's move to constitute a technical team is not only unauthorized, but is also a clear departure from the intent of the Assembly's resolution. And by failing to follow this resolution, the Chief Secretary is undermining the collective will of the THA. Kelvin Morris says, as Minority Leader, he stands firmly in support of the Assembly's call for a unified and bipartisan approach to discussions on Tobago's autonomy. He cautions that this is not a time for independent, isolated actions, but a moment for collaboration and respect for the Assembly's mandate. Morris said the autonomy discussion is a matter of utmost importance to all Tobagonians, and it is only through collective representation that the PNM can ensure the interests of Tobago are fully protected and advanced. Morris is urging the Chief Secretary to work within the framework set by the THA to engage all members of Parliament in a unified and bipartisan manner. Elizabeth Williams, TV6 News.